This is Frank Fortunato with CatX TV. Today is Monday, September 19, 2011. In England this morning, British police arrested a group of suspected Islamic extremists in one of the most significant counter-terror operations of the year. They arrested seven people carrying out raids in and around the city of Birmingham. Uh, although the plot was in its early stages, British security officials said the threat appeared significant, but that it did not appear that ongoing political conferences were the intended target. The police say the arrests were part of a, quote, large premeditated planned intelligence-led counterterrorism operation. In the United States, President Obama is proposing $1.5 trillion in new tax revenue as part of his long-term budget deficit reduction plan. The uh, aides who would not be quoted in a, uh, publicly said that the plan would draw a bright line with congressional Republicans. The president will announce the proposals this afternoon aimed at cutting the deficit by $3 trillion in 10 years. The plan includes no changes to Social Security and does not include an increase in the Medicare eligibility level. Republicans in Congress have already said they will not agree to any plans to raise taxes. The Nordlees, that ship that almost capsized apparently, will not capsize. The crew is on board today inspecting the vessels and picking up belongings of those left behind after the evacuation. The shipping line Hertha Gruten tells the Associated Press that the ship is no longer at risk of sinking. The fire in the engine room on Thursday caused the evacuation of 260 people from the harbor of Elsund, about 375 kilometers from Oslo. Over the weekend, a 6.8 earthquake hit uh, northwestern India, up by Nepal and Tibet in the state of Sikkim. At least 55 people have been confirmed dead because of bad weather. The rescuers are having difficulty getting in there right now. Out in the Atlantic, a pair of disturbances have formed over the weekend, but only one appears likely to strengthen into a tropical storm. The National Hurricane Center this morning gave that well-defined area of low pressure a 60% chance of developing over the next two days. It's about 1,400 miles east of the Windward Islands. Models put the system uh, northwest, moving northwest over the next five days, arriving near the Lesser Antilles by the weekend. From there, it's too early to say where it might go. The other disturbance, 900 miles east of the Leeward Islands, is apparently going nowhere. Well, if you didn't have enough to worry about, a six and a half ton NASA satellite the size of a school bus is coming down. NASA doesn't know where or when. It might be Friday, it might be Thursday, or it could be Saturday. They don't exactly know where it's going to land either. It could be anywhere between Newfoundland all the way down to the tip of South America. Uh, NASA said don't worry because the satellite is going to break up into about 100 pieces when it re-enters the atmosphere. About 26 of those pieces will survive. The biggest chunk of those pieces could be about 300 pounds. Their odds, about a 1 in 3,200 chance that somewhere, someone in the world will be struck. Now for a specific person, it's 1 out of 7 billion. Insanity. That's all the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.